Hi, welcome to the Penny Pincher Pantry. My name is Kathy. In today's video, I'm going to be making a pumpkin spice creamer for my coffee in the morning. Because who doesn't like pumpkin pie every day? So if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's get going. Okay, the only ingredients you're going to need for this is some milk. I'm using my home canned milk. Um, you can use whole milk, half and half, um, heavy cream. You can also, if you need to have it lactose free, you can use a lactose free milk. You could even use an almond milk or a coconut milk if you need it to be dairy free. Any type of milk that you have will work just fine with this recipe. The next thing you're going to need is some pumpkin puree. So make sure it's not the pumpkin pie mix. Um, you just want the regular pumpkin puree, whether it is store-bought or homemade. You will also need some pumpkin spice. And again, you can do um, store-bought or homemade. And you're going to need a sweetener. I'm going to use a stevia blend, but you could also use uh, maple syrup or brown sugar. You could even use part whole milk and part sweetened condensed milk as the sweetener. If you use honey, uh, you'll just want to start with a small amount um, so that you don't end up with, too, with it being too sweet. And then I'm also going to add vanilla extract. You don't need to add that, but I think it'll add a nice flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Okay, what I have here is I just have a, a pot on my stove. To my pan, I'm going to add three teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. I just want to heat this up for a minute just until I can start to smell the, the spices. This will just give those spices a little bit of a wake-up call. And we're just dry heating this. I don't have any oil or any type of any liquid in my pan at this point. I just want to get them a little bit toasty. Okay, now that I can smell my spices, I'm going to add my milk. I'll give this a good stir. To this, I'm going to add three tablespoons of the pumpkin puree. Now to this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is my homemade vanilla extract. And now I'm going to add the stevia blend. I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons because the stevia blend is pretty sweet. I'm just going to mix this up and then I'll give it a taste to make sure it's sweet enough. And if it isn't, I'll just add some more stevia. I think I'm going to add one more teaspoon of the stevia. I'm 
I'm just going to heat this up so that everything is nice and blended. And at this point you could also put in a cinnamon stick and let a cinnamon stick just kind of steep in the, the warm liquid. Okay, now that this has simmered for a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. Now we'll just let this cool for a few minutes and then we'll put it in our storage container. Now that my Kramer mixture has cooled a bit, it's time to store it. What I have here is just a canning jar, which I'll be storing mine in, but you can use any jar or any type of container that you would like. I wish you could, sm you could smell this because it smells delicious. So let's go ahead and just get this poured on in here. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. There we go. So I'll just put the lid on it. And I'll store this in the refrigerator and it'll last about five or six days in the refrigerator. So don't make more than what you think you're going to be able to go through in a week's time. But how easy was that? Well, if you liked today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. And until next time, I hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.